สวัสดีค่ะ This is your host k u s u b a y o t a s m u t Welcome to Thailand today. The word "wanderlust" means a strong desire for, or impulse to wander or travel and explore the world. For some reasons, we were drawn to traveling further, and have continued to do so. So, thanks to the faster and bigger commercial aircraft and affordable airfare, there are also individuals who are committed to travel very long distance, often in unfriendly condition, for something much bigger than their egos. Much like the world's first marathon runner, they act as a messenger who brings to the land they visit a statement of intent to serve a good cause. Thailand today is delighted to have with us two environmentalist campaigners who will be doing exactly what I have told you. They are about to embark on an extraordinary mission. And travel more than 20,000 kilometers from Bangkok to Europe, under the i c a s e of the Pilgrims Project. Who are they? Why they are doing it? Can they do it? Please welcome Mr. Ludwig m e r s t and Karen k u l a k i n t of the Pilgrims Project and Associate Professor Dr. n a t a s i t g e r t z i They are from the Program College of Management, Mahidol University. Please welcome Associate Professor Dr. n a t a s i t g e r s i Deputy Dean, Economic Program College of Management, Mahidol University, and k u n k a r e n t k u l a k i n He is the Double Degree College of Management, Mahidol University. So, s w a d i k a from both of you. s w a d i k a Thank you, and welcome to Thailand today. <laughs> Thank you. I really wonder what is a double degree here. Well, the double degree. This is an initiative that we have. We, as a college of management, Mahidol University, we work with the University of Toulouse in France, oh. and we, um, the faculty both side, we see it as an opportunity. As now, the world is borderless, mm. so um, both sides, uh, student from France, also interest mm. to join dual degree here. Mm. So they get the degree from their university there, and also from Mahidol University, as well as for the Thai student, if they, anyone who interests. To work here at CMMU and yeah. also get a degree <gasps> from France as well. Oh, is there any somebody like that? Yeah, they do that. Oh, very interesting. So I would like to begin with you. Sure. Uh, maybe the, our audience want you to know about the introduction to our viewers. That who are you? Why? Why you have to think about all these? So uh, what brought you to Thailand first of all, or to study? But sure. So uh, yeah. my name is Karen, uh -huh. and on this project we are three guys. Three students, actually. Yes. So this is me, uh, Ludwig. He's uh -huh. from Germany, uh -huh. and Remy from France. Myself, I was born in Armenia, but I've lived in France for quite 20 years. So we are students in international management uh -huh. um, at the IAE Toulouse. It's yeah. the Graduate School of Management in, in France, and we're doing the double degree here. Uh -huh. um, what brought us here? It was an opportunity to learn and study in Thailand, mm -hmm. so immerse in the culture because mm -hmm. it's a culture that is different from ours. And also have double masters at the end mm. of it, yeah. But it has to go co in sign with the Peel Greens project, sure. right? How, how is the so Peel the Peel Greens Peel came um, first. It was you know taking a tuk tuk, and then in around December we had this idea of we're going to do something unique. We're going to oh. kind of innovate in our way, and we're going to take an electric tuk tuk. Mm. Um, mm. We first uh, made research about the feasibility of the the, the this work. Uh, and then when we came up with the Tuk Tuk project, we came up with the name as well. And the pilgrims came from uh, a pilgrim, mm -hmm. you know, a pilgrim, pilgrims, a, a march, someone that's doing a march, ah. but religious march or something. Yeah, uh, we yeah, know yeah. into religion, but it's so it's a pilgrim, yeah. but pil pilgrim, but pilgrim, you know, with yeah. the green side of it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Is it a non-profit organization? It's non-profit organization. Yep. Yeah, we set up a, an actually an organization. You set up themselves. We set up that in oh. in, uh, in France, actually in February. I mm. see. Um, do you get and see you'll be like, uh, oh, who the young guy who created uh, YouTube? Oh <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> and anyway, um, so who who support you then? 
You need support. We need support. Um, so we were lucky actually to get support from both of our universities. Uh, yeah. So on, on our side, we had IAE Toulouse, our university back home, uh -huh. and Mahidon, obviously. Yes. Um, also, it was interesting because at the beginning of, of our project, uh, what helped us organize the start of the project was the course we got from project management. Uh -huh. And it's Ashan Latasid actually who uh, uh -huh. taught us some of the tools we could use in project management. Uh -huh. So um, we, um, we started listing everything we have to do, thinking mm. about everything. Mm. Obviously, you still have things that uh, later come up. But we used the, the tools we left in, mm. we, we've learned in class, and that was mm. really interesting. Mm. Yeah. Dr. Natasak, don't you think they were crazy to drive him here to death and well, electricity? Well, I have to admit, the first moment that they came to me and they said, are you kidding? Mm. Are you going to ride a tuk-tuk uh -uh. all the way, like 20,000 kilometers right. all the way back? Uh -huh. And then the f one of the very first questions I ask uh -huh. them is, is it going to be safe? Uh -huh. <laughs> Did you recall? Yeah, is that going to be safe? And, and I say, I'm not going to discuss anything further until you prove that there's a safe route for you from here, from Bangkok uh -huh. all the way to France. Yes. So, um, Couple of days after that, the team also trying to present. You know, you're not going to go this way, but you decide mm, to go exactly. up and so on and mm. so on. And mm. after that, then we move forward mm. in in terms of how we can plan the project, what need to be done, mm. and especially the big big part of this project is fundraising. You know. Okay, so all the way along that you're going to do the fundraising yeah. for what? For covering the fees, <laughs> obviously. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, at the moment, we actually need more money. Uh -huh. uh, we, we got some money already, so we, we were able to buy the tuk tuk okay. that is being manufactured in Bangkok um, and also get the batteries that are coming from China. Mm. Uh, once we combine the whole thing, we need to travel with it, so mm. we need more money actually for you know, the travel expenses. Mm -hmm. but, but that is a foresee thing, this is ahead of it. Well, how do you know we will give you the money? If not, you well, need to be on a headline. It was about. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're brave. They're, they're brave. brave. You yeah. have, you you have know, the, the braveness in you, right? It's, it's all about taking the risk, I think. Mm -hmm. um, especially a um, few weeks ago, we could have decided to cancel everything, but mm -hmm. we don't because oh. we are very, very motivated okay. to uh, travel that long distance to ah. do something unique again. Ah. And the money, the money issue, um, I mean, we can rely on some sponsors and support we have already. Oh, yeah. We need more support. Okay. But uh, yeah, it's about taking risk and we want to take the risk because yeah. we think so we can make things but happen. But uh, so how do, you, uh, how do you manage now at the moment? How, how do you prepare yourself? Do you have to prepare what? Start from what? Food? What, what tell me exactly? Oh, you mean, okay. Yeah, everything, so everything. <laughs> <laughs> the system, okay. yeah. Okay, okay. When, when are you deciding to travel to, to take? The departure would be beginning of July. The beginning of you have one month. So we this month, month, what are you doing? What are you preparing? So this month, um, besides dealing with the TV and all this, uh -huh. the media, we are uh, we listing everything we need to do that is left mm -hmm. for the travel. Mm -hmm. We're getting uh, sorted with the insurance, mm -hmm. with the tuk-tuk. Mm -hmm. So we have help some from MSH International, which is a, a support. I and have the, 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 the picture of the tuk-tuk there somewhere. Yeah. yeah. So we have uh, a support that is uh, covering us for the health insurance, which is great. Uh -huh. uh, we're waiting for the tuk-tuk that is going to be ready at the end of this month. Okay. We're also organizing um, quite a good farewell party uh, mm. for the people to join uh, mm. in Bangkok, actually, on the 27th. Okay. Mm. And we're also actually launching another fundraising campaign. Mm. But this one is more for the filming equipment because mm. we uh, already have the money for the tuk-tuk and the mm. batteries and, mm. and, and the logistics. Mm. Uh, we need more money for the travel uh, and more money as well for the filming because mm. we want to make this uh, mm. maybe a, a documentary when actually out of the, the travel. Mm. The most important part of this tuk-tuk is, apart from your courage, you're ambitious and everything. But uh, the battery, very important. Mm. So how do you manage? It's just the channel, just one piece or what? How so do you get uh, ignited and all, you know? Ignited? So uh, the idea is, so first I have to say that the, the company we're dealing with, it, it's called Tuk Tuk Factory. Okay. It's a Dutch company based also in Thailand. In they Thailand? have a factory. Okay. Uh, Thai people actually build Tuk Tuks mm. and those Tuk Tuks are electric Tuk Tuks that mm. are sold in in mm. Europe, in the USA, mm -hmm. in different countries. Mm. Um, they provide the battery. Mm. But the problem is that the battery they provide is, has, has, on, has only an autonomy of 80, 80 kilometers or Does something, uh -huh. uh, which is not sufficient for our travel. So 
So because if we want to get cities and, and be safe, actually, okay. with the tuk-tuk, we need at least 150 kilometers and more. All right. So we needed to have better batteries. Batteries. Ah. So we got lithium batteries. Lithium. Uh, oh. And those will come from ah. China. Ah. They are actually building at the moment, and we're going to get that from China. Yep. Mm -hmm. And it's a pack of a few lithium batteries. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's lighter mm -hmm. and it's uh, better. It gives you, gives you more energy. How about food? Do you manage? I'm, 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 I'm uh, like a mother, like so. I'm <laughs> taking care of the food and the health and all that. So How do you manage? See, that? we're gonna cross about 16 countries. Oh, so you drop by yeah. and yeah. so for us, it's it's an amazing mm. opportunity to try different food and you yeah. know have a taste of different mm. cuisines. Um, mm. The food um, mm. we didn't, don't plan so mm. much. We're gonna have some equipment mm. on the way to. Um, mm to uh, make our own cooking if we need. Mm. Mm. But at the end, we're just going to stop by and you know get some food mm. on the way. Mm. And for the accommodation, we, uh, ah. we might have some support from Accor. OK. Oh, uh, everywhere, Accor. Actually, everywhere. and they have hotels mm. quite mm. everywhere. Mm. And uh, on the way, we're going to stop by. And, yeah, mm. So on the way, when you stop by anyway, is there any, you know, since you start off with uh, co in, in cooperation with the university, collaborate with the university, is there any, uh, what do you call it? Uh, promote or anything about on Thailand? So we, are, we were actually asked already to be ambassadors of the Thai culture somehow. Ah. And we want to be because we've been here for almost a year now okay. and, uh, and we love Thai culture somehow. And ah. we're taking a, a Thai product, you know, it's ah. a tuk-tuk, it's something ah. from Thailand. So somehow we're spreading the word about uh, eco-friendliness, ah. that it's green to do so, such a thing, but also about the Thai culture, yeah. Very interesting. So what do you say? Is there any board or anything to say to visit Thailand or something? To talk about the... Uh, I mean, the, uh, about Thai... What but there's the, the local or wrapping around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Ah. So, noticeable. And noticeable, okay. Yeah. 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 We, we'll, we'll try to have Thailand somewhere in the Tokyo okay. anyway, but... Uh, uh, that's right. Yeah, definitely. Can I, can I do it? No, no, can we you can. Do, we do, can, you can do it. Or maybe it. even a sticker or something. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is a little bit of um, this and that that I yeah. can think of. So the the length, the what do you call? Is it twenty kilometers? Twenty thousand kilometers. Wow. Huh? Twenty thousand. Twenty thousand. Sorry. <laughs> twenty thousand. Yes, and it takes the uh, one hundred twenty days, yeah. right? Mm. Who would? So, so can you tell the route routing? Sure. So um, the first country we're going to is Laos. Okay. And then China, uh -huh. Kazakhstan. Oh. Up yes. North to Russia. Uh, we cross in Russia and then down to Georgia and Armenia. So we go visit my native country. And then Turkey and Europe. Ah, your parents will come on the road, eh? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come and see and th that's the point, actually, about this journey. It's, um, before we were uh, looking at what route to take, mm. uh, the question mm. was, what's the safest route? Mm. What is the quickest route or something? But we, mm. we decided to avoid the southern route. Because we didn't want to go to Pakistan and, you know, uh, of course. to avoid any danger, actually, oh. on the way. But you, three of you, must be having a knowledge of, uh, uh, what do you call it, electric or uh, technology of it so yes. well, right? So we, we, we're actually lucky because our pilgrim friend, Ludwig from Germany, He's got a background in engineering, actually, and he, uh, oh, he's okay. quite good at, at understanding all this. Uh -huh. And before we, we, we get to the travel, we, uh, we're going to have like a training or something from the factory. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and also on the trip, we uh, plan on some maintenance breaks. You know, mm. some days we're going to mm. do some maintenance and mm. check mm. up on, on the tuk-tuk. Oh, very interesting. So end up in Toulouse. So you would stay there. For, for each place, how you do stop it? You tell one day, two days, or, so or just pass? The idea is, because it's a very long journey and uh, mm. we, 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 we are going to drive a lot, we, we're not going to stop so many actually on the way. The point is to uh, every day to be on the move. Mm. So some days we take some, some breaks or something, mm. but uh, mostly we're just going to be on the move and go from one city to another. Mm. And the average uh, is about 150 kilometers a day. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then you rest. Then we rest. Yeah. rest. Uh, as per the visa wise, uh, do you get permission or do they be so surprised to them? No need, not necessary to to, ac to acquire for some. So some countries we don't need because mm. you go there, you need obviously you need the paperwork and everything about the the, the vehicle, so the license, the insurance, everything. Uh -huh. Ourselves uh -huh. we need passports ready and everything. Mm. Some countries you just go and you can p pay your visa and mm. enter the uh, country. Under you know? the, uh, mm and cross the borders. But mm. some country like China, 
Kazakhstan, Russia, then you, you need a, a visa actually. Mm -hmm. And this we are doing this month actually. Mm -hmm. At the moment we're gonna get the, the license plate from, from France and the, the, the paper that, that enable us to get the visa. On the way you traveling, I'm sure because the uh, people who are longing and waiting for you behind, uh, like Professor, and we also with the Thai as once we know sure. about this, mm -hmm. so how, how do you send the message back? Is there any way that we could see the movement and uh, how do you going along with it? So um, we are working at, at our uh, solution now to have uh, connected to the GPS and ah. satellite okay. that's going to locate us actually anywhere we are. And also we're gonna, anywhere, anyways, in any country we go, we're gonna be connected with the, log, the national operator or something to oh. be uh, past, to be able to, to get in contact with uh, mm. first the people that need information about us. Mm. So our supporters and mm. uh, Mahidon, Ia Toulouse, mm. you know, and our families obviously, and yeah. I have to come back to you, uh, uh, Professor Natasit. Uh, this is a way, and uh, what they are doing, with, so, so once they, 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 they've gone and come back, that means they are success, they, are, they got the, the certificate already. Right. Uh, what, what, what kind of, can you tell more about this, uh, this uh, project? Okay, so yeah. this project, they will, well, since it's a dual degree, so mm. basically students also have to complete some sort of the project. Mm. So this is one, one example one of the project. Okay. And in fact, this is one of the, not only just a project, but it's a good example of the project uh. that they really put things into action. Uh. When you ask a question, what it need um, to make this project really successful, I think there are three things. Mm. One is, of course, tuk-tuk itself, okay. but everyone can get the tuk-tuk. Uh. Money, of course, everyone can raise in fund. Mm. But the last piece that really important is human with the brave three young guys that really want to use their knowledge and want to take adventures and explore the world and try to deliver the key message mm. and the message that they all three believe is like green, how we can make the way that um, we can treat our environments and things like that. So uh. those are the three key elements. Uh. So going back here as a requirement for the studies, that's pretty much complete. We not even look at whether the, um, the trip will be complete or not, mm. but the projects wise, when they okay. started up, it's already complete ah, I see. by itself. And, and maybe I can add something. Yeah, please. Um, so besides the human experience, actually, we are also working on, on some business plan, because okay. we are trying to eventually would like to set up a non-governmental organization, actually. Mm. We're going to use this, this trip actually to, uh, to get the perception of people on electric mobility. Mm -hmm. yeah. And eventually the, pro the idea would be to develop some projects uh, mm -hmm. on electric mobility. Because mm -hmm. what we plan, what we think is, we know how, how bad uh, developed countries have taken mm -hmm. uh, electric, uh, sorry, not electricity, but you know, fuel driven solutions and, mm -hmm. and use this um, as a weakness. Because okay. nowadays pollution is in the air, you have the greenhouse effect, yeah. and right. yeah. the global warming. Right. So um, we're thinking that we're going to give developing countries maybe this, the, the opportunity of, of not repeating the mistake mm. from of, of developed countries. Yeah. Mm. So this travel is also a way to, uh, to get a perception of people on mm. what they think about electric mobility. Because mm. we, we believe that it could be the future, actually. Yeah. 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 How about the de this uh, double degree? Never, ever. They, n they have done it before? In any no, other this kind? is the first time for this kind of project, and what even else? with the, this degree. Yeah. Uh, other than this? Other than this, uh, it's more like a project in general, yeah. But this is very interesting projects, mm. yeah. Very, very challenging, very, um, mm. um, have to put a lot of effort in terms of planning, organizing, mm. you know. Bec uh, when we listen, it may not sound like that difficult, mm. but think about we have to deal with uh, protocol from different countries exactly. and things like that. Yeah. It's very hectic because oh. different countries require different <laughs> things and, and so on and so on. So yeah. they're really in patience, try to get things done. And also plus um, since Kellen already pointed out, so they are in the last phase of trying to do the campaign so that they can get the camera equipment oh. and so on yeah. on the tuk-tuk for oh. communication. Yeah. 
I'm also trying to think about the way that we can help them have like a real time broadcasting, like a reality show, exactly. so that Thai children can also see what on the side load look like when oh. we cross to 16 countries. So I want to encourage the companies or partner that really want to sponsor this one, and you know, please contact us. Contact Karen, contact College of my Management, Mahidol University. Do you have a website we can or something? Oh, yeah, definitely. Worldwideweb.cmmu.mahidol.ac.th. So feel free to stop by or have a discussions. I believe this is going to be a valuable learning piece. Uh, a lot of Thai people, we saying that we want to explore neighboring. But what the neighboring look like, mm -hmm. and we want to just go there, and you can see it mm -hmm. with your own eyes. You know, the still pictures, that's still fine. But then you have to see moving picture is different story. So this is something that I believe it will be a valuable piece of information. So yeah. look forward. Uh, if anyone interests to participate in this project, we still have the room for your participation for the last piece, which about communication piece. Yes, yeah, so they in, have a month. Yeah. A month to do so, yeah? Yes, yes. So do you consider this as a real challenge in your life? We we believe that the three of us actually doing the trip, we, we think it's our lifetime project, yeah. Because mm. it's not something we're going to repeat every, you know, we don't, we actually probably don't know about it, but the work it takes from the beginning okay. and the stress and everything about it is, is really huge, you know, like, mm. uh, and from day one, we, launched the project and we really believe we're gonna we're gonna go for it anything that happens we're gonna do even yeah. if we have to to if we even if we don't can't, can't cover the fees because we don't have money mm. that that mm. comes in we are uh, mm. we're gonna do a loan or get the money elsewhere and we find a solution because we don't want money to stop us mm. yeah. Yeah, committed. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, now yeah, we, yeah. we do need money so so they can reach you directly the Definitely. university yeah. and also yeah. us yeah. we have uh, the email address team right. to give them t e a m at t h e hyphen pilgrims so the pilgrims dot com um, and also our website www dot t h e hyphen p i l g r e e n s dot com mm. very interesting so and we also on the social network yeah. if people want to follow yeah. actually yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, on Facebook on on Twitter. Uh -huh. Uh, we have quite uh, quite some supporters already, and uh, yeah, we're happy to. Uh, and we're very, you know, laid back. And if people want to come by at CMMU and, and uh. meet with us or share some ideas, we could things we could do during the trip, or uh -huh. because we have some crazy ideas for the trip, you yeah. know, to get letters from people on the way, yeah, yeah. Uh, to create like a community or something, you know, yeah. and uh, it yeah, is something really, really phenomenal. Mm. We we really did expect it, and I when we heard about it, we were surprised. It is something, and I wish you luck Thank and you. Uh, for the success of everything, money, everything flowing, and then successful in the uh, completed your mission. Thank okay, you. Right, so Thailand today we would like to thank Gun uh, Karen Kula Kent and Associate Professor Dr. Natasit Kersi, who will be spending the next five years writing, <laughs> five years writing. Thai made electric tuk tuk. Uh, we are 16 countries, Brazil, and uh, raise awareness at end about the pollution and promote clean energy. We wish them uh, bon voyage as a uh, as a French and uh, good. Uh, what what they want me to say? Good rise. Good rise. Good rise. Good rise in German. <laughs> okay, you know in German too, right? Yes. <laughs> ah, very good, very interesting. Did not. So, yeah. <laughs> so for everyone keen to support them, please go to their website, www, I think you better read it, www? www.the-pilgrims.com And the email? Team, T-E-A-M at thepilgrims.com Yes, so thank you very much and see you again. Wish you, thank when you, you come back. Drop by here. <laughs> thank you very much for being here. Thank you very much. And thank you for watching Thailand today. I'm Kusuma Yu Tasmun. We hope to see you next time. Sawadee ka.